So why don't you go ahead and get started whenever you're ready. Sure. Um, Robert Nelson, in case none of you know, I actually work at DigiKey here. But I've been doing a lot of the tutorials on Debian, Mojo, and Ubuntu. So today we're just going to go over about the Ubuntu ports and what we use. So I'll read the next slide. Uh, just a little bit of background. In case a lot of people here know about Ubuntu and the fact it's a large user base, uh, large native packages built ready to go. For 9.04, there's almost 28,000 binaries available. And so for the Beagleboard, it's perfect because there's tons of applications available. Sure, not all of them will run on it, but it'll still give you a bunch of options. So in November 2008 was when Ubuntu and ARM announced that they're going to start porting the packages. And they had this big push for netbooks. And about a month later, we had the first kernel for the Beagleboard. By then, the packages were finally built, GCC, et cetera. Uh, next one. Uh, the kernel is based off Angstrom, just a few tweaks here and there, uh, mostly because my build network are all the old revision B2s and they need to run off the USB port. But basically, we've got a small farm of Beagles building kernels for all the different shirts, uh, Debian, Mojo, and different um, Ubuntu releases. Um, we also have the SGX module drivers built so people can do the 2D and 3D acceleration with the Beagleboard. Um, Kind of working on the DSP stuff still, trying to figure out a good way to do that, to make it easy for everyone. Uh, we just created a new Launchpad uh, group, so if more people are interested in building or working with this kernel, it is now hosted on Launchpad, so you can add more and more patches. And one of the goals for 9.10 is to get it as close to Ubuntu's kernel as possible, or possible you know, merger in 10.04. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, next slide, please. If you install Ubuntu on BeagleBoard, there's two scripts that make it pretty easy. You just uh, set up the command line, and basically it'll just build the whole image for you. I'm also watching IRC at the same time. Uh, it's mostly just to keep it for it's like cross compiling. Everything's native, so it's all using the native GCC kernel. Um, Redstock new version for 9.10 will actually install the kernel image of all of the modules. So all you have to do is run the script, and the SD card image is all ready for you to go. Just put the U image on the one side and TARD on the rest, and it'll just boot. Next slide, please. Uh, this is mostly the support angle. The eLinks wiki is the main site for information on this. And uh, as you keep track of the IRC logs, it's kind of hard some days to log into the IRC chat here at work sometimes. But I do monitor them, so if people have questions, just post them there. I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. 